hello lovely souls how is everyone um i am back again um today tonight to eat this evening actually um to do another kit for you guys and this one is a cat kit i think this might be the third one i've done i'm almost sure it is um but the nice thing about it is i, I say that but um there's not a lot that's the same i try to vary it up every time um, so the images are definitely different and um, there might be a couple of other little doodads or something that you've seen before, but for the most part in my filler paper, everything's the same. Um, before I get started, I want to say a huge thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you who um, bought some of my JJ grab kits, um, the junk journal grab kits. Those, those were so much fun to put together. Um, you know, I just sort of did it like an assembly line, um, but, you know, and then I stress out trying to get everything out and add extras and make sure the extras are there. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, um, but I, oh, I think I got it together. Um, and I was also behind on shipping, so if you ordered one of those for me, um, you should be receiving them um, this week coming. So just be patient and thank you so much for your patience. Um, so I got those, the ones that ordered, um, I got those out. Um, what else? After this kit, guys, I think I'm going to do my insect bugs, creepy crawly kit things, and maybe the space kit, one or the other. They, one will be before the other, it doesn't matter. They're both uh, ready in terms of images. Um, you know, they're just packed full of, of really, really, really cool images. Um, and I'm thinking for the insect kit... I don't know. I'm kind of torn between um, what kind of book to put in there because I, you know, I'm still thinking about it. So anyway, that's where I am. The Renaissance kit is coming along and I have one other um, kit to film that was a custom order and so I can get that one out the door first thing a.m. on Monday. Um, so that'll be coming up too. So, okay, but that's, yeah. Um, and then I had a botanical kit, but I think, I'm pretty sure that one is reserved. Somebody's already... Um, sort of put dibs on that one. I'll film it. It is gorgeous. It's got so many cool um, images in it. It's got it's sort of a botanical slash woodlands feel, and I got that idea, the woodlands idea again from Liz. The I think Liz the Paper Project is is her YouTube name and her IG name, but I know it's Liz. And I just sort of started adding all kinds of of deer and rabbits and bears and. Um, squirrels and other little woodland animals um, to it um, that come from di different places, di uh, different uh, sources in terms of images. So that one will be a lot of fun too. Um, and I'm really glad that she's um, the person who, who wants it, who sort of reserved it, um, is interested in it. So anyway, with all that said, um, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's been super duper 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 extra extra hot. I I think uh, we were at 99 today and it looks like it might be 102 uh, moving towards 102 here so it's been really 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 hot um, but you know uh, us natives were kind of used to it we just kind of roll with the flow <laughs> so but you know okay anyway let me start with the doodads um, what I've done let's see here let me get this focus is I've put in just my general cute little cutesy stuff little general pieces that you'll need for your junk journals your junk journal pages to clip things in so I'll put some clips in there and I put these cute little itty bitty I forgot I had these these came down in a bag of something I found at, at a, a bazaar or thrift store I don't even remember where I got it but um, they're these cute little tiny tags that one says hey baby because I think cats kind of look at look at you that way sometimes despite what one of my students said a long time ago about cats he's long gone now in the navy so <laughs> um anyway i added those in there and then i put in my mom gave me this little charm that's a cat charm i put in a fish and i think i had one of those in my last kit the cat kit i'm not sure and there's another little fish with a tiny little hoop on it so you can make a charm with that and there are some garment pins 
to hook one of these little fish on if you decide to. Here are some stones that I thought sort of look kind of wild and out there in the browns and tans or taupe. And um, I'm not sure how you would use those, but I think they're really, really cool. I think those are jewelry pieces. So you get those. And then I put this little eye in here. It's sort of like a... I thought it would be cute in a unicorn kit, but I'm not going to say unicorn because I'm still traumatized. I'm telling you <laughs> that I can't make a unicorn kit. I don't know why that one is so hard for me. It just is really, really difficult. Um, but I'm I'm almost over it. Not quite. Let's see. What else, guys? So we have some of these little um, thingies here. There's a little applique. And there's a little eye. It looks like a unicorn eye, but I put it in there as a cat eye. There we go. And then there's two little kitties. I, you know, I didn't have that many of these left. I did for my other cat kits. And there's some charms, a bell, and one of those vintage pom poms. Um, the last of the last I had of that from a piece um, that I sort of cut off. It's real light and it's old. Um, but these little buttons that um, have the kitties on them, I just, I put them all in the kits before this kit. So, and that, it's kind of nice to do it that way, guys, so that things aren't repeated. Um, and it kind of gives um, your embellishments, at least for me, um, you know, they kind of vary. So you don't see the same all the time. And then there's four black pom-poms that are kind of cool. Those are kind of hairy and bobbly. They're really light. And there's some ribbon. Just because. And then I put in some of this cool stuff. This I love. And I did put this in the last cat kit. But I just absolutely love it. It looks like a cat tail almost. So you can probably play around with that. And I put in two skeins of real 100% wool tapestry wool and that way you can make your own little balls of yarn um, to hang out of your cat journal again if, if um, everybody knows who April is at Pink Odd Bird she made one and it was just adorable so I put two of those in there and that's that real hardcore uh, tapestry wool so you can play around with those and then I put three colors, uh, three skeins of, of um, floss in here. And this is really good to sew your journal, your uh, signatures into the book or a book of choice. Put those three colors. And I put in this uh, a burlap piece and I just kind of sew through it with this needle. So... Um, you know that it it'll stay together because this stuff kind of when it unravels it, it doesn't like to stay together so but anyway and I thought that's kind of cool that you guys can actually sew um, through those little uh, grids so there's some burlap there and um, this pretty piece here and I thought this was just kind of glorious um, to put in a cat kit cats are pretty high maintenance I think and pretty snobby <laughs> which I don't like cats guys um, at all but I do like that they're kind of snobby because <laughs> they are um, let's see this here I put in because it's got these cute little dudes on there and on this side there's some more fish there and this is tropical but I thought, you know, it would be kind of cute. And then here's another remnant of that. And I put a bird in there, a napkin. You can decoupage that. And then, of course, this pretty doily I put in. And you can cut this up and use it how, how you will. Now, you know, for, I know a lot of ladies are not into cutting up pretty, old doilies and hankies and things like that I wouldn't either um, 
um, but the ones I have, they have a lot of oil and or stains on them. So, and I've shown that to you guys before. But the hankies, you know, when they're beautiful in beautiful condition, and sometimes I just leave them as they are. But some of the other ones I do tend to cut up if they've been ruined and not cared for. Here's a cute little kitty. It's missing one ear, but I thought he was kind of cute. He comes out of the magazine um, that my mom gives me. And then this little guy, and he's on cardstock. And let's see if I can do this. I'm doing this the wrong way, guys. Um, here's one of those cigarette or tea cards or tobacco cards, whatever you want to call it. It's an oldie but goodie. And there's a little guy there. Halloween looking in this little cutie. This playing card. And these I just recently found about three, maybe four weeks ago. And I just absolutely love these. Hang on, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My husband's always, um, he's like, are you making a video? So anyway, um, so I found um, these about three weeks ago. And aren't they adorable? They are so cute. I love these. And, you know, um, they're vintage. You can see kind of where they've been used in yellow. I think those are bridge cards. They have that bridge card size, I think. I'm not an expert with, with bridge, but yeah. So there's um, a fish. This is an old um, Whitman card of kitties. I think those are called tabbies. I think I'm not completely done with about cats, guys, but I just, yeah, just never, never, never. Um, there's one there, and that one is an old vintage kids card. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. And there's that one. And two tags. And I put some little contemporary fun cards in here. There's a mouse. And some fish and this little cutie is called Snoops <laughs> so cute 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 and there's Frisbee and Frisbee's got some little green ink on him but he's still really cute sorry I'm dropping little hearts out of my thingy um and then these are some old vintage um, images from books and then I put this in here. This is another example of stuff that I find um, down in bags. Um, this embroidery um, set here. And that's the image on it. So it's really cute. And you can't see what's behind there. Um, but I thought that was really cute. And there's some of my general... Um, Oh, sorry guys, my mom was calling me. Um, there's some of my general uh, flashcards. And then I put some tags in there. And there's a big card. It's not one of the jumbos, but it's semi-jumbo. <laughs> More of the coffee dyed um, index cards, famous cats, game piece, away, play. More index, I mean more um, flashcards. I put canary in there, mice, rat, and kittens. And those are vintage. Those are I have a set of these that are vintage, um, and the ones and some that are not so vintage and they're vintage and they're the same set. It's just one is more contemporary. These are marked at the bottom, 1984. Okay, so there are those little goodies, and there's some tickets. And then for um, paper and images and all that cool stuff, I put in, let's see, pattern paper. I put in this pretty piece. I just love this, um, this contrast here, these lines, and then this, I don't know what kind of design that is, but I like it. And there's that piece and that piece. And then I put in this little beauty here there's two isn't that adorable 
so cute and since oh i don't even want to think about halloween and all that right now but we kind of gotta we kind of gotta right think about it right now and that little cutie and i love the little orange and red florals there so i put those in there and those actually that's from a 2014 calendar guys but those might be um for cover pieces um, there's several pieces in here that could be cover pieces Okay, I put this in here because it said start starting today GE makes it hard to goof up pictures and we know cats um you know they they just film well, they video well, they um you know uh take pictures well, so I thought that was appropriate and that's vintage. I think that's from that the life magazine. And then this little cutie adorbs. Totally 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 adorbs. And this is another calendar piece um, with another little cutie there. And this is recent. Okay. And then here's this one. There's my boo-boos. <laughs> my basset hounds. And let's see, there's a cutie there. She's kind of in the kitchen cooking. And the mice are holding up the cookbook. And it says perfect pies there. I thought that was cute. And there's some kittens here. And this is an old children's book. And let me speed it up here. Really cute. And here's some of the black and whites that are gorgeous. I love these. I think these are really, really cool. And there's some calligraphy. And some fish. And there's a cat getting out the door. I had to put this kind of cat in there, guys, just because. I think I put two of those in there. Just because, just for fun. And there's a little cat there. And there's some kittens there, old children's books. And this one is sleeping. And this beautiful image of a boy and his kitten and a little boy and his bag of kittens <laughs> it's a lot of responsibility <laughs> um there's a kitty there this is an old dictionary page and here's another lady holding her little kitty so cute and this is a christmas image this one i'm just like oh my god and i shouldn't say that i don't like cats i'm just not a cat person I do think they are so cute though. Look at that. He's got his ball of yarn. Yarn, Isn't that adorable? And there's some twins. And these guys are milking it up. And here's some here. And I think there's another one inside. <laughs> this one is really cute. So you get those and there's just some calendar pieces with the little kittens at the top those are these are actually 2018 calendars and there's some birds and I put those in there because you know I have to be literal about everything there's some bags a craft envelope this um, I thought would be really cute for a cover and it's an old bag isn't that adorable the pinks Look at those little eyes, so cute. So I put that in there. And there's more fish. And these guys are, I guess they're discussing what's gonna happen to the kitty, or who it belongs, to whom it belongs. Um, there's some kitties and puppies there. This is a scanned copy of an old greeting card that I had um, and I just happened to scan it. This kind of stuff uh, sort of came about when I was testing out my printer for the first time. There's some fish. And there's a dog and a kitty and a little carriage. More fish. Um, there's another piece of that uh, greeting card. You can kind of cut that out, turn that at coffee dye, cut it out and turn it into a journaling paper of sorts. This black cat. This lady, I'm not sure. She's kind of mean to this cat. I, kind of, I think she has a cat, but she was 
there's an image in here where she's kind of swo uh, um, you know shushing the cat out of the way and this is a poem um, the owl and the pussy cat I thought that was kind of neat to stick in there and it's a pretty long poem I am not gonna even read that and there's a cat getting into the milk that's probably why he was um, punished I thought that was so cute adorable there's a doily a black one and this is vintage guys this is the good kind of vintage um, it comes from a book that had only about four maybe five pages in it um, a storybook and it's signed right there um, I think if I remember correctly I, I've shown this before on a video a long time ago and I think this is like I can't remember but I know it's it's old um, and beautiful and so I took it apart and I just kind of share from time to time those originals um, that way I don't hang on to them and be repetitive in in the kits Lots and lots of images to play with. There's some writing paper. And there's... Now this I have shown before. It's really cute. That's a writing card. And let's see. I put in Black Cat Boogie. <laughs> Music paper. I put in... Uh, let's see here. There she is. That's not nice, right? But, yeah, that's probably why, right there. And this lady with her little kitty. The same lady. As my grandmother would say, she's showing difference. She's loving on this kitty and not loving that other one. And that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't cool. There's some um, kitties there and a mouse. And here's a cute little mouse here. He might be cute, even colored in. I don't know what's going on with that. I think this cat is being pushed out of the door, but I'm not sure why he has to be pushed right in his little hiney there. His little bootay. <laughs> his little butt. Um, there's a mouse there. Some uh, mice. And there's some there. And they're really cute. And again, I think those would be cute colored in. With some pencils or... Or what have you. There's a sleeping cat. And finally, there are some glassine bags and a craft bag. And then this is a stamp that I found, um, oh, not that long ago. It was pretty beat up, but I just took a toothbrush, cleaned it out, um, and there you have a tag with that little cutie on there. And then finally, um, I am going to put in... Um, obviously a stack of my filler paper and you guys have seen this before so I'm just gonna fly through it this is good for tags cardstock envelope grid vintage paper yellowed grid photograph paper um, children's paper Rolodex linen children's paper children's paper I hope this is clear. Um, more writing paper, cardstock, writing paper, cardstock, 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 pink copy paper, parchment paper, this is perforated for postcards, and the rest is, um, Ledger, stenography, some writing paper, um, popcorn bag, a CD sleeve, cardstock, green and blue writing paper, invoices, envelopes, security, different ones. I don't need to show you that every time. They vary. Um, a white envelope, messaging, and this is filler paper, and I did put some vintage dictionary in there, and that's just to fill your journals up. Um, 
because I know that um, the images you guys usually will have your images reserved for um, embellishing um, little specific special areas on your on your cover okay I mean in your journals on your pages is what I'm trying to say good grief okay I put in two three things one I put in this book this was my uncle's old book whoops upside down so he was a world my uncle was in World War two um, and he, but he was a desk clerk kind of guy and so when he finished with everything he retired he did taxes for people and notary work and so this was his old book and it's black and I thought it might work um, if you kind of grunge it up a little bit you guys know how to expand that spine on, on these books um, if you don't there are several videos out there to show you to, how to take a small spine and uh, expand it out and that measures let me see here let me get my semi good ruler I like my beloved ruler a uh, seven and a quarter by nine and a half okay so that's that one but I also in case this doesn't work for you it makes a good stash but it, if in case it doesn't work for you I put in two of these um, envelopes the clasp envelopes and so you've got some options there okay and those are just a six by nine and a standard, um, I think this one is a 12 by 12 by 9. Okay. And then finally, I had to put this in here. And I will throw in some of these little tiny tags. Guys, I forgot. I just sometimes I get so busy or get sidetracked that I forget. Um, so these cute little tags here. And you can stamp on those and ink them up, distress them, whatever you want. Um, but this I'm putting in um, in case third option is if this book doesn't work and these don't work uh, maybe this will so this is the story of Miss Moppet Miss Moppet and it's the Beatrix Potter book and it is so cute so I took that one um, specifically when I found um, discovered these little books um, I yeah I have tons of them um, I just decided to put this one aside for a kit okay so you'll get that one and it's in really 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 good shape all right so there's that all right guys that's my cat kit um i will be back again with either the space kit which i'm so excited about that one and i wish i could have had it done it was neil armstrong's um, anniversary here recently i think three days ago and it would have been cool to have that done but you know somebody it doesn't matter right um we should celebrate people like that almost every day right <laughs> not just on their anniversary but um anyway um i hope to have that one it's pretty much done so i hope to have that video up uh pretty soon and then of course the insect one and i am going to film a shabby chic order that i've got to get out of here because i've been sitting on that and kind of adding to it but she's been so patient um and i've got a botanical that I want want to film that's reserved and a renaissance kit and I think that's it for now and then I have I've already started to supply Rosemary Morris um, style supply a uh, journal kits so I'll be uh, putting those up too and those will be pretty um, inexpensive uh, anywhere in the world um, as is this kit here this kit is is probably going to go up for about uh 27 to 28 dollars okay um and that's not without shipping so if i decide uh, you know i'd love to be able to ship um international at such a, a good rate and i'm thinking through that and working on it um i do use flat rate two-day priority boxes for most of my kits um, especially the big ones but i'm working on prices guys because i think i'd love to send um some of my kits you know away um international like more than just every now and then um that makes me so happy to be able to do that so i'm working on it this one actually may go in at 25 dollars, right and i will probably do maybe the 690 shipping flat rate in the u.s and see what i can do um international in case someone is interested um that's outside of the u.s 
one thing I'll say um, before I stop, because I'm almost at 30 minutes already. Um, if you are international and you are interested in a kit for me, don't be shy about contacting me um, with respect to shipping because I can always um, do something, um, work out something uh, to get a package uh, to you for a reasonable, a reasonable price um, that's, that's affordable. And usually sometimes I'll eat the cost, eat a little bit of cost as well. Um, and you know, it's, it's worth it, uh, because I, like I said, I'd really like to, to, you know, just be able to share, share around. So, okay, guys, I better stop there. I'll keep yap, yap, yapping. I hope you are all having a beautiful, uh, moment in the world, uh, wherever you are on the globe. And I will see you guys again soon. Adios. Sale pues. Orale pues.